Hello, Dave Brennan with Case IH. Hey, I want to spend just a few minutes taking a deeper dive into the main menu, the setup menu, when running the Isobus solution on a 2000 series early riser planner and a Pro 1200 display. Let's take a look. Commonly referred to as that wrench icon, it's going to contain a lot of that planner setup information. Most of this is going to be either populated from the planner or done by your dealer. It's good to confirm this information though to make sure that it's correct. Let's start with the planner setup. This is going to be information uh, about how that planner is configured, the options that are included with that planner, what downforce system it is, whether it's on row hopper, bulk fill, liquid fertilizer or not. Many of those options are controlled easily with a slider bar. The next item down is going to be measurement setup. This is important to confirm that this information is accurate because it will affect your performance on the section control, your row shutoffs. What we're going to confirm in here is that our hitch type is correct, whether it's a draw bar or a mounted planter, semi-mounted planter. We're going to notice that we've got a bar distance in there as well. That's going to be from that hitching point on the tractor back to the back side of the toolbar. We're going to make sure that our row width is correct, the number of rows correct, and that that total implement width is correct. All right, the next uh, window down is going to be application control. That's just confirming the number of controllers, so how many products. So typically on a planner, we're going to see that one liquid and one seed. And again, confirming the number of rows. The next one down is going to be those customizable settings. These are things you may change on the fly in the field. Some of those things may be like the jump start setting. We can change the default speed on those, the timeouts, those types of things. Jumpstart will be the, uh, the topic of a future uh, video. Uh, some of the alarm settings, if I do a custom planting scenario where I've got certain rows shut off, uh, I, can, I can shut off those row alarms there. Seed information thresholds, these are going to be meter performance items, and I can change that, that red, uh, yellow, green layout so I can see that differently based on that performance of the meter. Uh, speed selection, one that we would look at as well, just confirming that we've got a correct speed source uh, being brought in to that planner to control our rate. If there's dashes, that means that speed is not available. If it's 0.0, .0 it's got a reading in there, we know that that is a, an available speed source. And then the last one is going to be some of those adjustment settings. That's going to be some of the graph parameters that are displayed for things like downforce, so row unit metrics, and then also uh, some of the seed metrics. All right, so we'll go ahead and hit back. Uh, that was customizable settings. Let's take a minute and look at those calibration settings as these uh, will be commonly used uh, or can be commonly used. Let's start and take a look at the frame calibration. That's going to be just that start plant height and stop plant height uh, as I lower that planter where it's going to start to plant. Uh, or, and likewise, if I flip that around and look at when it stops planting as it comes up. All right, we'll go ahead and cancel that, that wizard as it walks me through that. Um, hit OK. And we'll go back to then gyro cal is the next calibration that we'll look at. And that's the calibration that's uh, uh, in the power distribution module in the battery enclosure uh, that's going to give us the turn compensation. And we want to do that and follow the wizard uh, through that process um, on, on a, a regular basis during planting season. So we'll go ahead and cancel that guy. Hit OK. Uh, and then the last one being load cell calibration. And this is just making sure that our load cells don't have any erroneous values populated in them. A very simple calibration where I just hit zero and zero those load, load cells out. And I'll go ahead and back out of that calibration as well. So that was just a overview of the main menu, the wrench icon on the universal terminal when running the Isobus solution on a 2000 series planner. For more information, Visit your local Case IH dealer or refer to your operator's manual.